Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Queen Khaleesi, and today I'm gonna show you my top three exercises for shoulder pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. For some of these shoulder exercises, using a resistive band is good. If you don't have a resistive band, you can do the exercises without it, but if you're progressing, trying to get your shoulders a little bit stronger, it's good to have some resistive bands. Make sure if you use resistive bands and you haven't before, start off with the lightest one. Each brand usually has different colors, so make sure that you're checking to see which one is the lightest one before you get started. So the first one with the shoulder exercises is gonna be a simple shoulder squeeze, or some people call them scapular squeezes. So the big thing with this is try and keep your shoulders down. A lot of times people will kind of come up and squeeze and do that, but what you're really trying to do is get those rhomboid muscles and those upper back muscles to pull your shoulder blades in. So try and keep your shoulders down, bend your elbows. You can use your elbows as a guide, but it's not just bringing it back. Use those muscles in your back to squeeze squeeze those shoulder blades together. So imagine that someone has their hand on your spine and you're trying to use those shoulder blades to squeeze the hand on the spine. So again, you don't have to use your elbows as a guide. Sometimes when you're starting off, I think that helps get that squeeze a little bit better, but you can just do the squeeze this way as well if you feel like you're using your arms a little more than the muscles in the back. I like to do a little bit of hold when I'm squeezing. So again, make sure to keep those shoulders down, hold it for about, three to five seconds, and then relax. If you want to follow along in a real-time video where I'm doing the whole routine, you can check out the, some of my real-time videos in that link up there. So the next one is gonna be using the band. Again, like I said, you don't have to use the band, especially if you're starting off, but eventually you probably wanna get that resistance to really help strengthen those muscles. So this is gonna be an external rotation of the shoulders. I like doing it this way because you're doing them both at the same time and kind of shortening the time of the workout. So with this one, you wanna keep your elbows by your side. Sometimes people will kind of pull their elbows away. So if you feel like you keep pulling your elbows away from your side, you can roll up some towels and and put them in between your arms and your side and squeeze in because it changes the exercise if you bring your elbows out. Keep your thumbs kind of in an upward position. You don't have to actually bring them up, but you want them to be facing up towards the ceiling. And try and keep your wrists in a neutral position. Sometimes people will pull out like that, but we don't want to get your wrists irritated when we're trying to help your shoulders. So again, squeeze those elbows tight into your side, keep those wrists in a neutral position and elbows, uh, thumbs up on top. And and then just pull out and really control that band coming back in. So that's the most important part is not just to let that band come in. One, then you're missing out on the most important part of the exercise. And two, it might irritate the shoulder a little bit more. So make sure you're controlling that band. If this is pretty easy um, and you don't have another band, sometimes you can hold a little bit closer together and that'll give you a little bit more resistance. Um, but again, you can you can start off just doing it without the band and you're still getting those that motion and really, you know, kind of squeezing at the end to get that motion. Again, you know, I'm coming out a little bit more. I don't really have any shoulder issues right now. Um, but if you can only come to here, that's fine. Don't feel like you have to go out so far where then you're bringing those elbows away from your body. So then the next one is just going to be rows. Same thing, you're using the band, but if you don't have a band to start off with, that's okay. You can just do the motion and you're still going to get some benefit from it. I like to anchor them around my feet. You can, if you've got a door, you can anchor it on the door. If you've got a hook on the wall, you can anchor it on the wall. I like using my feet just because you don't have to find anywhere to anchor it onto. Um, same kind of concept. You want to keep your elbows pretty close to your body and then you want to keep your thumbs kind of in that upward position and your wrists in a neutral position. Now with the rows, sometimes I'll have people kind of do this, but that's really using your bicep muscles. So that's a bicep workout. So it's more, you're pulling back. It's kind of the step up from the scapular squeezes. So you're still keeping your shoulders down and you're squeezing back, getting those shoulder blades, trying to push them together in towards that spine. But now you have the resistance of the rows doing that. So again, keeping those shoulders down, really getting that squeeze at the end, sometimes nice little one to two second pause, and then really control that band coming back. So make sure you're controlling the band. Don't let the band control you. So there you have it. Those are my top three exercises for shoulder pain. If you'd like to help support my channel, become a paid member by clicking the join button or clicking on the link in the description below. You'll get, oh, what is that? extra perks, 
sneak peeks, and a lot of other fun things. So remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon. <laughs>